Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply a whole number by a decimal. So let's jump right into number one, where we have 14 times 6 tenths. And the three steps that we're going to take in order to solve these two examples correctly are at the top of your screen. And step one says, remove any decimals within that problem. And we're going to rewrite the problem without those decimals. So let's rewrite number one as 14 times six. So we're removing or forgetting about any decimals. They will come into play later on in the problem though. Number two, we multiply or solve just like we would any other multiplication problem involving whole numbers. So six times four is 24. Six times one is six plus that two is eight. So we get an answer of 84, but we're not quite done yet. Step three, we need to place the decimal in our answer. And we do that by looking at the original problem and seeing how many digits are to the right or are behind a decimal, however you like thinking about it. And we have one, this six here. And I like circling any digits to the right of a decimal or behind. Um, that way I make sure I include everything. So we have one digit behind a decimal. That means our answer has to have one digit behind the decimal. So this four will be our one digit and we can place our decimal right there. So we have eight and four tenths as our answer. Another way of thinking about it, we had 84 as our answer. So for every whole number, the decimal is at the end. So we can bring our decimal in once that way it gives us one digit behind the decimal. Or you can just, um, how I did right here, kind of counted how many digits I needed and placed the decimal accordingly. Whatever works best for you. So on to number two here, where we have seven times five and 22 hundredths. First step, remove any decimals and rewrite the problem. So we get seven times 522. Now when it comes to multiplication, we want the number with more digits on top. We can solve it like this, but it's much easier to have the number with more digits on top. So we can actually do 522 times seven. And that's because multiplication is commutative. You'll get the same answer either way, seven times 522 or 522 times seven. So now we multiply, step two, we multiply and solve here. Seven times two is 14. Seven times two is 14 plus that one is 15. Seven times five is 35 plus one is 36. So we get 3,654 but that's not our final answer. We need to place the decimal. So let's look at our original problem, see how many digits are behind or are to the right of a decimal. And we have one, two. So that means our answer needs to have two. We can think of it like this, bring it in one, two. That will give us two digits behind the decimal. Or you can go one, two, and place your decimal there. Either way, whatever works best for you. And we will rewrite our final answer without any marks under it. And we get 36 and 54 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how you multiply a whole number by a decimal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.